दिस इज एन इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ टू सेफ्टी वाल्व ओवर ए वेसल टॉप इच सेफ्टी वाल्व इज हैविंग आइसोलेशन वाल्व एट अपस्ट्रीम ऑफ सेफ्टी वाल्व फॉर आइसोलेशन पार्पस बट दीज टू आइसोलेशन वाल्व आर इंटरलॉक विथ इच अदर सो दैट बोथ द आइसोलेशन वाल्व कैन नॉट बी क्लोज एट ए टाइम नाउ लेट अस सी how we get this interlocking and what is its importance suppose this is one pressure vessel or storage vessel as per statutory norm any storage vessel or pressure vessel having design pressure more than equals to 1 bar gauge should be provided with 2 into 100% safety valves from two separate nozzles like this this is safety valve a and this is safety valve b these are two independent separate nozzles this statutory norm is considering the safety of the vessel in case of any over pressure or in case of any fire in the surrounding area internal pressure of the vessel will increase then safety valve will pop and will protect the vessel so these safety valves are 2 into 100% safety valve and both safety valve will remain in operating condition and both the safety valve is having 100% relieving capacity that means 100% block discharge type safety valve again as per statutory norm each safety valve should be tested and calibrated once per annum so for that testing and calibration we require one isolation valve at inlet of safety valve say this is valve a and this is valve b usually both this isolation valve will be kept in locked open condition and both the safety valve will be under operating condition when we will take any of the safety valve for maintenance or calibration then only its upstream valve will be closed and other valve will be under operation for a short period but usually both the isolation valve will be in locked open condition in any case both the isolation valve should not be closed simultaneously by mistake then it will be a safety hazard for the vessel thus the philosophy of interlocking valve has come into picture so these two valves are having or should have interlocking between each other so that both the valve cannot be closed at a time now this interlocking philosophy has come with three keys and each valve is having lock on the stem like this this is one lock and this is another lock for this valve and each lock 
is having two slots like this. And for these two valves, there are three keys, two red keys. This is one red key. This is say key A. This is another red key. This is key B. And one green key, this is key C. This is the picture of valve lock with key and you can see red key and green key. This red key can be inserted only the lock of this valve and this red key can only be inserted to lock of this valve. But this green key can be inserted to this lock and to this lock. For any of these two valve, it is possible to insert this red key and this green key and this red key and this green key. But it is not possible to remove both the key from this valve and both the key from this valve. So this valve should have at least one key and this valve should have at least one key. Originally this valve A is supplied with this red key inserted here like this. In this condition the valve is locked open and this valve also is supplied with red key inserted in the lock. So this valve is also locked open. So originally both the valve is having red key inserted, red key inserted and both the valve is in locked open condition. At that time this green key is kept in the control room key cabinet or this green key is kept over the lock of any key of this valve. This indicates that green key is available in control room cabinet. That means it's like green signal. That means both the valve is in locked open condition. Now you can see that red key is inserted in the lock and green key is kept over the lock. In this red key inserted condition, this valve is locked open and in this red key inserted condition, this valve is also locked open. Under this condition, hand wheel of this valve cannot be operated and hand wheel of this valve also cannot be operated. In this condition, when this red key and this red key is inserted, and this green key is available with us. In this green key, it is indicated that valve A and B full open. So, in this key, this is written valve A and valve B full open. So when we see this key in the control room that means valve A and valve B is now in full locked open condition. Now suppose we want to 
take this PSVA for maintenance or for calibration. So we need to close this valve. To close this valve, we have to take this green key C from the control room and we have to insert this green key C in this slot like this. When this red key and green key, both the keys are inserted in valve A, then this valve A handwheel becomes free and the valve can be operated to any position. That means valve can be operated from full open to full close condition and valve can be kept in any intermediate condition also. In this condition, if we close the valve full tight, then we will be able to take out the red key. Then this valve will act as locked closed valve. Since now this red key will be available in the control room or we can keep this red key outside of the lock so it will act as red signal that means valve A is closed now and maintenance work can be done from PSB A. So in this lock it is written that valve A closed valve B open. In lock A this is indicated valve A closed valve B open. Similarly for this key B on the key B it is indicated that valve A is open and valve B is closed. Now we have this red key available in control room and this valve is locked closed and we have done necessary maintenance for this safety valve. Now we want to again keep this valve as lock open. So we will have to take this red key from the control room and we will have to insert this red key in this valve. After inserting this red key into the lock of this valve, then this valve lock will have both red key and green key and hand wheel of this valve will become free. At that condition, we can full open the valve and then we can keep the valve in full open condition and we can remove the green key. Again, this valve will have only red key and this valve will become locked open valve. At full open condition only, we will be able to take out this green key from the valve. Then this valve will be again become locked open valve and again this green key will be kept outside the valve or will be kept in the control room which will indicate valve A and valve B both are full open. In same philosophy maintenance of PSB B can be done. In this way we get safe interlocking between two isolation valve at two safety valve inlet so that both the isolation valve cannot be closed at a time. Now let us see an installation of interlocking valves. In this installation, inlet isolation valve of both safety valve 
is interlocked with each other and red key is inserted in both the valve lock. In red key, it is indicated that valve Z01 is in maintenance and valve Z02 is in operation. In this condition, green key is kept outside the valve lock and green key indicates valve Z01 and valve Z0 both in operation.